Good morning, friends. Um, I went grocery shopping last night and I um, didn't have the energy to <clears throat> lay everything out, put everything away until this morning. So um, the things that needed refrigerated, I put over through the refrigerator um, until I could get to it to record this morning. Um, <laughs> first, I just want to point out I forgot to put these in the freezer. Every time I buy these, I forget to put it in the freezer. And it just rises and rises and rises, and then it just ends up popping out. So I'm going to make that here in a little bit, figure out something to do with it. But um, last night, I went to Meijer, and I spent $335.75. Um, $59.64 of it was WIC, which I still get WIC because I have a 3-year-old and a 1-year-old. Um, and then the rest was just the 27611. Um, so I'll start down here. Um, I got a case of these for my husband, which you can see he already got into this morning. Um, I got six of the multi-green Cheerios. There was a deal on uh, Fetch Rewards where if you bought six boxes, um, you got like 1,200 points or something. Um, so I got those. And <clears throat> I got four Capri Suns for my kids for their lunches. Um, two dozen eggs. These were on wick. Um, I got some tomatoes to have with my salad and sandwiches this rest of the week. Um, I got some ricotta. I saw this recipe for um, lasagna soup. And you know how like you top chili with sour cream? I guess um, they topped the lasagna soup with ricotta. So that sounded really good. Um, I got two more of these. I haven't had them at Walmart in a very long time, um, but these are really good to keep in your pantry. They are best by uh, October 27, 2028, so a good while. Um, I got a quart of Yoplait Vanilla Yogurt. Um, I got two of these Nor Fajita Rice Bowls um, just for me for lunches, and this Bone broth uh, tomato soup sounded really good. Um, I got three of these Progresso soups for me for lunches. Um, I got some prunes just for, you know, regularity, and they taste really good. Um, I got this Ripple Kids to try for my one-year-old since he still has a dairy allergy. Um, my three-year-old didn't grow out of his dairy allergy until he was about two, two and a half, so um, I'm going to have to figure out some sort of milk replacement for him. Um, I got a big thing of coffee, which coffee is so expensive right now. Uh, Maxwell House was one of the cheapest ones I could find yesterday. And I got a thing of oats. My five-year-old suddenly loves oatmeal, which is great because it's super cheap, but he hasn't liked it for a very long time, so I don't know what the change was there. Um, I got two of these slider buns from Pepperidge Farms, and then th this was Wick. Um, two loaves of wheat bread, and then I got some more hot dog buns. These were on sale, um, I think it was three for five dollars. Yeah, three for five dollars, so I got four, um, and there was also a fetch deal where you bought four dollars worth that you get some points back. Um, I also got these for my husband to make him breakfast sandwiches, he really loves those. And I got three different smoked sausages, well, sorry. Two of the same smoked sausages. I know there was an Eckrich um, deal on it. it. was either Ibotta or Fetch. I don't remember, but I got it for that deal, but also because we would use it. And I also saw this jalapeno and cheddar that sounded good, so I was going to try that. Um, my bloated dinner rolls. Um, I got three, no, four cases of vitamin water. Um, a cabbage. It was 69 cents a pound. Um, which is a really good deal. I'm going to make cabbage soup. Um, I got some potatoes of Brian. I got some diced ham um, to put in here with cheese and like cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup and it makes like a little casserole. It's really good. I got some beef ravioli. It's just a quick dinner for the kids. Um, I think this is a persimmon. Um, I couldn't find the sign. But I wanted to try it. You tell me, is that a persimmon? It's orange. So. And I got a bunch of bananas. Um, these 
cookies were on sale two for five dollars um, so I got those and then these looked really good I wanted to try them um, and then just the regular aged white cheddar um, the baby's doing better with like dairy and baked goods um, like if he eats crackers that have are dusted with cheddar he's fine really the biggest thing is um, when I drink milk directly or if I have any type of butter it bothers him so. um, anyway I got these also just for a quick you know here here's here's some lunch kid <laughs> um, because I have just people keep coming in and out um, I think I was right here. I don't know if I did this yet, but I also got some chocolate chip cookies for the kids um, for dinner, just for fun. Um, I got some more apples, prepackaged, grab and go. I know that's like a really big um, uh, luxury, I guess, because um, I could easily cut an apple. Well, actually, our apple cutter broke, <laughs> but. Um, my son is more likely to eat the apples if they're in a package. And if that gets him to eat the apples, then I'm going to buy it. So, um, and then I got some Doritos because I saw something called a Dorito Taco Bake. And it sounded really good. Um, I got some Ditalini. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I get it for my baby. So he can easily grab it and eat it and feed himself. <clears throat> I got a pound of shredded cheddar cheese and a pound of sliced cheddar cheese. And this was on Wick. Um, I got some a bag of carrots for the cabbage soup that I'm gonna make. Um, a thing of burrito-sized flour tortillas um, for when we have tacos later this week. And then there was a deal on Fetch for four dollars of Barilla pasta that you got some points for it. So I got um, the whole grain, and also this is Wick. And then I also got the thin spaghetti. Um, this was a, 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 not a splurge, but like a stock up. Um, they had this <clears throat> um, mega pack of the ham, which we eat. That's what we have all through the week. And you got 3,000 points if you got three packages <clears throat> on fetch. Um, so I went ahead and bought it all because <clears throat> I knew we would end up using it anyway. So I went ahead and stocked up and got it. And then these, this freeze as well. And then I got three containers of two pounds of ground beef that were three ninety dollars a pound. They used to go down to one ninety nine a pound. Some very rarely is it two ninety nine a pound. This is the lowest I can find it for anymore. They used to do it on a rotation, <clears throat> but they don't do that anymore ever since COVID. Um, and then lastly, I got a, let's see, I think it was 14 pounds. Not quite 14 pounds. 13 pounds. And it was $7.83. So every time there's a, every time around Thanksgiving, I buy a small turkey to keep in the freezer. Um just for later in the year or next year for when we want <clears throat> like the another type of Thanksgiving meal I'll make green bean casserole mashed potatoes and stuff and we'll have our own little Thanksgiving feast again but not on Thanksgiving so I also got three boxes of Lunchables that my kids already got into so and the last thing I got was a box of fish sticks and those are in the freezer. I put those away last night. I forgot to get them back out until just now. So, um, I think we did pretty good. I had a full cart. My cart was very heavy. Um, so this will last us quite a while. I'd say at least three weeks. Um, maybe two. Um, but like the stock up stuff, obviously that's going to last us longer. Um, but yeah, that's what I have for you today. I know it's not fun. Um, I had someone comment and tell me that I'm boring. Well, <laughs> sorry. I try to um, just show other people what a real family of <clears throat> eight eat um, in the United States. I mean, I know there's a lot of really large families on 
on um, YouTube and Facebook and TikTok and Instagram, um, and they have millions of followers, and that's great for them, but I don't have a million followers. I don't have that revenue coming in every month where I don't have an you know, where I can just drop $3,000 on groceries a week. And that is great for them. I'm not putting anybody down. That's fantastic. I would, I mean, it's great to not have to worry about feeding your family, especially such a large one. But I did want to say, I'm just a stay at home mom from Indiana. This is what I feed my family, our busy family, our chaotic family, our lovely family. This is what we eat. And it's not always fun and colorful, but I am trying to be mindful about what we do put in our bodies. And we're trying to eat better. So I hope that this gives you some sort of idea when I go and tell you what dinners I'm going to make this week. This week is actually just like a whatever I can come up with idea because I have no real plans. I have the cabbage soup and um, smoked sausage and green beans and really that's it. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. I appreciate your comments, and um, I just, I really enjoy doing videos, so if you enjoy these videos, let me know and put a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. It does help that algorithm. Um, yeah, anyway, have a good day. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Say bye, Henry.